Yeah, I'm wrapped to have Tim Blanchard on board. He uh, did an awesome job here for the team last year. He drove in the Stratco car around Phillip Island and um, you know really surprised us with his pace and his consistency and most importantly in enduro races, his reliability, how he brought the car back. So he'll be in my car for the first uh, couple of practice sessions this weekend and uh, it'll be really good to get him in and just sort of sit back and watch how he goes about it and hopefully uh, we'll make a few changes to the car while he's in it and have it dialed in for a good qualifying car. Fantastic to be uh, in the same organisation for two years in a row so it gives a bit of continuity and uh, makes the, the whole process a bit easier and to be representing a brand like Jack Daniels is uh, you know, a great, great opportunity for me. Yeah, having David Russell on board of Car15 this year is, is a great thing for us. Obviously he drove with Todd at the endurance races last year and he's doing the development series with Dreamtime Racing as well. So he knows us very well and he knows the equipment as well. And it's very important in the endurance races to have a co-driver that's in the development series or doing a lot of racing. So we're pretty confident that that pairing is going to be a very strong one and one that we can uh, hopefully win the races with. Look, uh, it's great to be back in the uh, JD garage, that's for sure. And um, it's good to have that continuity as well. Um, it's really important. I've, I've been in the cars before, obviously. A um, bit of a driver change with Rick this year, but um, yeah, something I'm relishing and, and really looking forward to teaming up with Rick. Yeah, it's good to get back here to Phillip Island. It's a, a really fast track, one of the fastest that we race on. Uh, I really enjoy that style of place. We've been to a lot of street circuits this year and you know, fairly slow speed corners in a lot of those tracks that we've been to. So to get out into the open here and really open the cars up on a hard tyre and uh, you know, it should produce some pretty cool racing and I can't wait to um, see where it puts us. We normally go okay around this place, a lot better than what we have at the previous rounds that we've been to this year. So hopefully this is a round that we can get a few points for both Jack Daniels cars and uh, both Rick and I move up a little bit. I'm excited to have just a hard tyre throughout the weekend. It gives us really good consistency and on the soft tyre, if, if you put it on at the wrong time, you can see from the races that we've had that you can really fire backwards at a million mile an hour if you don't look after it very well. So the hard compound, like I say, gives us much more consistency and it's a track we love as well and we think we're, we're a little bit more suited to the hard tyre as well. So hopefully the weekend produces some great racing on it.